from the Cars, Computers, and Two Girls. They're sitting here enjoying a cup of AJ's coffee. We had a call from Laura, and she asked, Hi, Paul and Ted Fred. This is Laura. I had a dead battery today and called the tow company, and he came out and raised the hood, connected a couple wires, and then he had me start the car. Charged me 50 bucks for doing that. I was just wondering what exactly was it that he was doing. So I'm going to leave that one for Ted Fred. Uh, oh, she's yes? asked, she's asked uh, how do you jump start a car? Oh, uh, Laura did? Yeah. I'm sorry, I was over here working on the... Her car, um, her car battery died. She had to call <laughs> Guy came out, did some stuff under the hood and drove away, charged her 50 bucks. And she'd like to know... Uh, what did he do? If you've got another car that's close by that has a good battery running correctly uh, and some jumper cables, to do it yourself and, and, and save that kind of money. Okay. And it is really easy to do. Um, you just have to make sure that when you connect the two batteries, that the red lead on the jumper cable goes to the red post on the battery. And the black lead goes to the negative on post on the battery. And you can tell it's the negative because it has the little line or minus sign. So the minus sign is the negative or black. And the plus sign is the positive or red. I see. But once that's done on the auto that has the good battery, take the other end and do the same thing on the vehicle that has the battery that's dead. And the final thing is just be careful with the last connection. Um, if your battery's really low, it might spark a little bit. So you, you know, you want to not have your face right down there, accidentally get ass in your eyes. So once that's done, a little tiny spark and uh, you're ready to go. Get in the car, crank it. If it's still crank kind of slow, hop into the car with a good battery start it and run the engine medium speed for a minute or so and uh, that's it it should run you could be literally good to go remove the red jumper cable from each car being sure not to touch metal then remove the black ground cable from each car so that's the basic principle. There's other things that are a little more technical, but I think that's all we need to know at the moment. Thanks again, Paul and Ted Fred. I appreciate all the help. Uh, I'll be calling again. Thank you. That's Ted Fred. I'm Paul, and we'll see you again down the road.